You're listening to podradio.co.za. Welcome back, guys. I hope you had a lovely winter break. In this week's podcast, we are talking about classroom discipline. Classroom discipline refers to the strategies a teacher uses to manage students' behaviors and attitudes during instructional time. A teacher who uses consistent discipline strategies exhibits more effective classroom management than an inconsistent teacher. In this week's podcast, our hearty hosts will speak to some of their peers to find out whether they feel good discipline in class is important or not. They will also offer some advice or ideas to teachers on how they would have dealt with disobedient or disruptive learners in class if they were teachers. Here we go! Hi guys, mm. CJ here speaking with... Tony Niesling in grade 11 E3. So, Tony, do you think that good discipline in a class is important? I do. I feel that it is crucial because it helps both parties to cooperate easier with one another. It will be, yeah, yeah, it will be fun that way. So if you had to be a teacher for one day, how would you deal with a disruptive learner in your class? Well, I think personally it's not in my nature to raise my voice or scold someone out. So I would probably take the initiative to use fitness as a way of like discipline yeah. like Mr. Christians or Mr. Bukas does. Yeah, that's fun. So in some classes learners are more disciplined than others. Why do you think that's the case? I feel that maybe that class has a deeper bond or connection with that specific teacher mm. rather than a teacher that came in in the beginning of the year or a teacher that they just met recently. Um, so yeah. Yeah. Communication is key. Yes. Thank you so much, Tony. You're welcome. Hi guys, my name is Emmy here from 12E5. Today I'm going to be speaking to my friend, Sompilela from 12E1. So today we're going to be talking about discipline in classrooms. So friend, do you think good discipline in class is important? Yes, I do feel like good discipline in class creates like a positive attitude in like students and you know people in your classroom right. and it creates like a good environment for you guys to learn and it becomes fun you guys are disciplined like a, rather than having people like who are gonna make noise yes yeah. yes like a positive learning space yes okay that's good so if you had to be a teacher for one day how would you have dealt with disobedient or disruptive learners in class i'd pro i don't know i probably would uh, I probably would first give them three warnings like right. as I do with other people yeah. give them three warnings and then you know I would do what our teachers do I enforce the law as such how though like if they're demerit points then give them demerits or sometimes I just stare at them <laughs> <laughs> right right so like in some classes learners are more disciplined than others like why would you think like that's the case like why do you think that is i think that some other learners are more mature mentally i think they know when it's time to play and then when it's time to work and that is the sort of discipline they have in themselves right so they know that there's a time to to play play, time to to learn wow okay thank you very much sumpi that is all that we have for today Hi guys, I'm Lolita here. I'll be interviewing my friend Tanuku Lengidi from grade 11 E4 as I'll be asking the following questions. So Tanuku do you think good discipline in a class is important? Um, Well, I think discipline is actually something that is personal, but however, it also allows students to learn and adapt their behaviors to meet expectations in the class while also simultaneously teaching them how to make better choices and training for their adulthood. And um, I think without discipline, we can't really learn. And if students constantly disrupt the teacher, the other classmates of them also are affected. So I think discipline also improves your character as a person. Lovely. So Tanukushe, if you had to be a teacher for a day, how would you have de- dealt with a disobedient or disruptive learners in class? Tell me. Um, well, sometimes learners are not disruptive 
disruptive by choice. It's sometimes the circumstances that push them to being a certain character. Like for example, you get children that come from communities that are really rough or rowdy and the children are pushed to act a certain way that does not really correspond with the rules and regulations set by the school. So I would um, bring the students closer to me, the difficult students, and try to understand why they act the way they do. Um, sometimes talking to them in private also helps understand their mentality and where they're coming from and why they behave the way they do. Wow, Tando, you have a lot of information. Okay, so now the last question. In some classes, learners are, disi- are more disciplined than the others. Why do you think that is the case? Um, pressure in our generation is something that is really on a high and I feel like many children do certain things to try and fit in, you know. Um, sometimes there can be students that are really attention seeking and sometimes they just lack motivation yes. or interest and they don't correspond or participate with everybody else, you know. And so I also think that the teachers sometimes tend to interpret their behaviors the wrong way, you know. As I said before, trying to understand where the learning is coming from and why they act the way they do. And so that's why I believe that learners act in different ways than others. Thank you, Tadu Kushe. I really appreciate your time. What's up, lovely people? It's your girl, Ukona from 96, and I'm here with... Christy. <clears throat> so, Christy. Do you think good discipline in class is important? Yes, it encourages a good and healthy classroom environment. Learners are able to work and focus in a class with discipline. I mean, I will have to agree with that. We do have some learners in our class that are like very disruptive and it's very like disruptive to our learning learning process as well. So number two, if you had to be a teacher for one day, how would you have dealt with disobedient or disruptive learners in your class? I would have sent them to the principal's office or I would have called their parents to discuss the situation. I wouldn't have a disruptive learner in my class either. I would just send them out because, nah, we, we're not about to have that. <laughs> okay, number three. In some classes, learners are more disciplined than others. Why do you think that's the case? Um, I think so because they come from a good background whereby they are whereby they are taught to respect and kindness and discipline. I definitely agree with that. Thank you so much, Christy. You're welcome. Hi guys, it's Faith. Hope you're having an amazing day. So I'm currently here with one of my friends, Kamuhelo Guzana in 9E5. So Kamo, I wanted to ask. Do you think good discipline in class is important? Yes, I think good discipline is important in class as it keeps the learners in check and always maintains good behaviour. If you were to be a teacher for one day, how would you have dealt with disobedient and disruptive children in class? I think disobedient and disruptive learners shouldn't only be punished in class but also at home. But in class, I would cancel or restrain them from doing any fun activities. Last question. In some classes, learners are more disciplined than others. Why do you think that is the case? I think some teachers are a bit too soft on the learners and aren't as firm as others. And I think that they should probably work on that. I 100% agree with you. Thank you. Hey guys, my name is Ubele Badi from the 12 e 4 Today I'm speaking to my friend Sewa Bugatilo from the 12 e 6 and today's topic is discipline. I'll be asking Sia a few questions based on discipline. Question number one, do you think that good discipline in class is important? Yes, I think that discipline is a very, plays a very important role in a classroom because it helps the teacher um, carry out their lesson. It helps. It helps us as learners focus more on what's happening in class. Yeah, I also think that that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Question number two: If you had to be a teacher for one day, how would you have dealt with disobedient learners in class? I would try by by all means not to take it personal. I would think about my decision and remain uh, remain calm as possible. Yeah, I also think that if you like do things out of anger, you might regret 
your actions at a later stage so question number three the last question in some classes learner, learners are more disciplined than the others why do you think that this is the case this is in some cases it is because the teacher is more stricter than the other one so learners usually take advantage of the more um, kind teacher than the strict ones oh yeah mm -hmm. thanks so much see ya bye and that's a wrap guys i hope you enjoyed our podcast on discipline in classrooms tune in again next week for a fun podcast on hattie's celebrity crushes bye